A couple of days ago, Apple released iOS 17, which brings further improvements to the RoomPlan API for LiDAR scan to CAD 3D automation. Today, I'm using Polycam to test it. This is our third video testing RoomPlan since it came out about a year ago. In order to match the scanning path as closely as possible, I'm using two iPads simultaneously for this test. One is a first generation LiDAR device from 2020 running iOS 16. And the other one is the first generation with the M1 chip, it's running the new iOS 17. Stick around for some more comparisons of the output 3D models and please like and subscribe if you get value from this content. I usually scan in LiDAR mode and when I do I try not to scan the same area twice. So normally I don't spend this much time capturing a wall and windows, but I'm stuck here as you can see having issues trying to register the windows. They do not show up on the preview and I cannot see that they have the white outlines indicating that they are recognized. This was definitely an annoying start of the process but I decided to just continue and try to capture them when I cycled back to this area later to close my scanning loop and end the capturing process according to best practice. The only preparation I did before scanning was to pull out the sofa a little bit to expose the window heights on that wall. I also want to point out that I made these captures at the same time as I was running the screen recorder on both devices and they've been used daily for around three years now with basically no issues and during that time uh, we have also seen some really cool developments built on this tech stack. So the older iPad is getting a little slow and it's running multiple apps simultaneously at this point with very little storage left like less than one gigabyte. Uh, so it took over a minute for that iPad to actually start the screen recording. So from here we will be able to compare on both iPads simultaneously. It can be worth it to spend a little more time opening curtains and making sure that everything is as visible as possible. But for some cases, especially with existing residential buildings, it can be impossible to do so and that could lead to incomplete captures. Personally, I'm convinced that this tech will continue to improve and become more usable in the future. Pay attention to the four windows in the preview model now and we will return to them later in the video when we are examining the output. Polycam is one of many apps that utilizes the RoomPlan API and the LiDAR hardware from Apple. Their version is called Room Mode and it's just one of several reality capturing modes that they support with their app. The RoomPlan API is an automation that's built by Apple and it takes raw Apple LiDAR 3D data and converts it into a more optimized 3D format. This is in terms of size and complexity of the geometry and the structure of the data. And I will show you more about this in the comparison section. So Apple are essentially aiming to automate a step in traditional 3D production workflows, which is typically done by 3D draftmen or engineers today. So the reason for that manual time being spent today or Apple trying to automate this step is basically because the resulting 3D model will be much more useful further down the line in workflows such as creating a clean looking 2D floor plan. Here you can see a difference on the screen how the diagonal ceiling is being picked up on the right hand side but not on the iOS 16 version. Other than that I did not pick up any big differences between the two versions. And now I'm coming back to the place where I started my scan to finish it up and attempt to capture the missing window. Unfortunately, I wasn't successful in this attempt of capturing the last window. I believe it would have been captured if I had pulled out the desk or yeah, of course if I had removed the curtains, but I didn't take the time to do that much preparation. So this is just what it is. When you're done scanning, you get your CAD 3D model instantly on the screen. I proceeded to process the raw data capture into a LiDAR 3D mesh that will be used in the comparison coming up next. You can also export a PDF file now, which I guess is new. PDFs are great for floor plans and stuff because it usually gives you this kind of vector format which lets you zoom in without any blurry lines. Moving on to the comparison, let's start with a quick look at the furniture and objects within the space and compare the iOS 16 and 17 versions. So looking at the kitchen shelves here and cabinets you can tell that there's a difference. Also with the 
office furniture assets and there are some small differences on the chair and um, the staircase as well it has fewer steps here on the 16 version compared to the 17 version now let's take a look at the placement of the furniture asset within the space so here you can see that the iOS 17 version actually picked up that I pulled out the sofa slightly from the wall. There is also a difference in placement there of the fridge as well as the sink cabinet row there. And if we continue looking at the posts and pillars you will also note a clear difference between the two versions here on the screen. So continuing to looking at the geometry, the architectural feature of this space you will see here that the window is still missing here from the end result, obviously not good. There's also a slight different there, difference there on the sliding door and uh, as well as like height, you can see the height of that staircase wall. And then looking at these windows, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you see here on the 17 version that we have four windows on that side and they look to be pretty much accurate, but if you look at the 16 version here there is actually a door registered instead of a window and the window i'm pointing to here as well it's actually a window not a door but it's covered by curtains when i was capturing it here we can see that the posts are not registered by either version of room plan those are of course more major issues which would cause problems in a renovation project potentially Next in this video we will be looking at the measurements and see how they compare with the actual size. So measuring the iOS 16 version, the width of the room is 323 and the length is 853. Compared with the 17 version who has it at 319 by 843 and the length here is 448 on 17 and 450 on the 16 version. Here we're looking at the actual size, which is 320 by 447 and 450 at the last wall there. Now if we take the raw LiDAR mesh that I processed from the iOS 17 M1 iPad and line it up with the actual size, you can see that it is pretty accurate. It also picks up all the posts and diagonal ceilings and things that are missed in the automatic scan to cad process. By lining up the iOS 17 version with the actual size, we're able to see these differences more clearly. Hope you found this video informative and please comment if you have any input, feedback or suggestions. And don't forget to check out our website, read our articles and check out the other videos here on YouTube for more about Apple LiDAR scanners and using 3D technology to digitize buildings. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this in the future as the technology is evolving.